So in this lecture, we will discuss one more example related to the Mealy machine. Let's say a binary number is given as the input to me, and I have to produce the two's complement of this binary number as the output. Now here an assumption is taken that the numbers are processed from right to left. This is the first assumption. And one more assumption is taken as the final carry is discarded. So this is also taken as the assumption. So let's say the number given to us is one zero one zero one triple zero. So this is the number input number given to us. If I have to convert this to uh, uh, two's complement form, let's first find out the one's complement. So the one's complement of this number will be zero one zero one zero and triple one. All the ones have been converted to the zero, and all the zeros have been converted to one. Now, what is the two's complement? Two's complement is actually one's complement plus one. So if I add one to this, so it will be zero, 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 and then one, and the rest of the bits will remain same. So this is the two's complement. If I analyze the original number with the two's complement number, then you can see that there is a similarity that the zero is zero, this zero is zero, this zero is also zero, and this zero is one. And after this, all ones have been converted to the zero and all zeros have been converted to one. It means that if I process the number or the given number from right, then if I get a zero, I should remain at zero only. It means I should not change this number. If I get another zero, let's take it as zero only. If I get another zero, let it be zero only. If I get a one, let's let it be one only. But after this, the changes will occur. It means zeros will be converted to one and ones will be converted to zero. So this is what we can see here. Now, if I draw the uh, mealy machine for this, so what we can say that I have a state Q zero, let's say, this is the start state. If I get a zero, I should not change. I, I should not make any change in this number. And I should print zero. So this is the input and this is output. After this, if I get a one, I should not make any change, but I should move the state to, let's say, Q1 state. At this state, if I get a zero, then I should convert that to one. And at this state, if I get a one, let's convert this to zero. So this is a very simple one. And let's take the example to uh, verify that if it if, if this mealy machine is correct or not. Let's say my string is 10100. Zero, zero, zero. So the two's complement of this number should be 01100. Zero, zero. So this should be the output. So let's verify it. Uh, I start my transition at Q0 state. Since I'm processing this string from right to left, so the zero will be the first number that I take. I will not make any change to this number and move to Q0. Another zero is here. I will not make any change. The output will be zero. I will remain at Q0. If I get a one, I will move to Q1 state, but will not have any change in the output. One will remain as one only. In Q1 state, if I get a zero, then I convert that to one and remain at Q1. Another symbol is one. I should make it zero and remain at Q1 state. So you can see that the output which is produced is, and reading it from right to left, zero, one, 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 zero, zero. Zero, one, one, and then zero, zero. So here is the output, zero, one, one, zero, zero. So this is the two's complement of the given number. So this is very simple to design. What we will do that we will now design the table for this because table is very essential that will actually define the transition function and the output function. So the states here are Q0 and Q1. In this case, the Q0 is the start state of the initial state. Zero is the input and one is the input. In a state Q0, if I get a zero, I'll remain at Q0 and will produce the output zero. In a state Q0, if I get a one, I'll move to Q1 state and will produce the output one. In Q1 state, if I get 
the number zero, I'll change it to one, but will stay in the Q1 state. In the Q1 state, with the symbol one, I should make it to zero. So this is the transition function and output function corresponding to the milli machine. And we have verified this using one string also. So this is a milli machine for finding all the tools complement of the given number. Thanks for watching. We will meet again with the new example on the milli machine.